to Jazz Encounters DC Live. I'm Akita Clement. The Washington DC region is filled with venues that feature jazz music. In Montgomery County, there's Bethesda Blues and Jazz Supper Club, the Strathmore Music Center, and their new venture, Amp. Today, we'll talk with presenters from Alice's Jazz and Culture Society in the district. We'll also check out the music of bassist Mark Saltman and pianist William Nose. We have a lot more in store after this message. Stay with us. This is one amazing truffle tree. Can you imagine a place where these grow everywhere? Yes, it's called the forest, a magical place to enjoy with your family. Ooh. So discover the forest and explore all the wonder that's there. Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest near you. Portraits Blue and Green. We spotlight alto saxophonist Aaron Martin. Aaron is a native Washingtonian and has been a part of the avant-garde free jazz music scene for many years. Saxophone is a instrument in which you have to blow to produce a sound. You get particular sounds under the saxophone by pressing particular keys. The larger keys that you depress. Welcome to our segment, Places and Spaces. Alice's Jazz and Culture Society, or Ajax, in Northeast DC is a new venue that features local talent and admission is only five bucks. We stopped by to talk with Alice and musician and Ajax manager, DeAndre Howard. All the artists, I'll even go to hear them play, but they, they tell me when they're playing, I come, I don't let them know I'm there. I sit in the audience and see how they act. And then if they're not ready for prime time, I have to tell them that, because I say, well, we're not running an American Idol or, or The Voice or Star Search. We need you to be a professional when you come in here. So that's what I demand out of people. So a lot of people get upset with me, but if you come correct, you, don't, you won't be upset with me because you know your, your skill. You know you can play the music and you know you're going to satisfy me. And when I'm, I'm satisfied, they can tell, because I'm here and I'm watching and grooving and applauding. So that's how that tends to work out. In the rain The sun went out Just like a dying ember That September In the rain To every word of love I heard you whisper The raindrops seem to play our sweet September, that September 
Jazz Encounters DC Live, we bring you an op-ed series entitled Contemplation with Willard Jenkins. Willard is a professor of jazz music, a downbeat magazine columnist, concert presenter, and music announcer for WPFW in Washington, DC. This series, Willard shares his views about the history and state of jazz music today. A constant refrain from many of us who love jazz music and simply cannot understand why more of our peers don't seem to appreciate the music, or at least not with the same level of passion as do we the jazz enthusiasts, is to search for systemic issues as the culprit. We talk about what some see as the lack of sufficient venues dedicated to jazz. Other, others of us talk as though jazz musicians just ain't what they used to be. Still others of us see the criminal lack of music education in our public school systems as the major culprit for the neglect of jazz by larger audiences. As I see it, the most critical issue facing jazz music is audience development. The need to grow the jazz audience to a level that includes those additional potential jazz audiences. Thanks so much for joining us today. If you'd like more information about Jazz Encounters or anything you've seen during this episode, jazzencounters.com is our website. I leave you with more music of Saltman Nose. Until next time for Jazz Encounters DC Live, I'm Nikita Clement.